A quick update as to why I haven't posted in the last probably three to four weeks at least. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to get some shred material ready for a run, and I was hoping to post a video of all my non-Ferris stuff that I sold. The update is actually that we are moving. So even though uh, we've enjoyed this house and we love having this back corner a lot, uh, we still are in a development. And so we hear the highway, we hear the crotch rockets, on occasion we hear gunfire, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's loud, it's noisy. Um, it's been nice, but we are moving to a very rural area in another location. So where that is, there's actually no cell service there. It's 15 minutes in, 15 minutes out. Uh, it's pretty rural. So the closest larger town where there's say a trash mart is about 20 minutes away. So it's not in the middle of nowhere, but we're gonna hear some nice uh, serene sounds and more of the birds and less of the traffic. So I've got a lot of cleaning up to do and we're gonna do this over a period of time. I know this video is gonna be somewhat delayed. I've already started cleaning out the bird feeder area. The cat house is gonna come with us. All of these wood racks and the wood box need to all disappear as well as my entire scrap area. So I've got a lot of work to do. I've been trying to take care of as much as I can, uh, but we're starting to run out of time. So this entire thing has to come down. This all has to come out. I'm taking the mats with me. This structure here, I'm actually going to try to put it back up at the new location because I need somewhere to store all the wood that's inside there. The rest of this is just all scrap. And then from all the dumpster diving that I've done, I've got quite a few things that I want to take with me, like all of this wood is coming with me, uh, various electrical items, plumbing items, angle iron, and just stuff that I might need at the new place because uh, depending on what hobby I pick up, whether it's dumpster diving or anything else, I will still need to fix stuff, make things, and it'd be nice to have the free stuff to work with. So this has kind of become a dumping ground, but I do have a lot of non ferrous still to turn in. I've got some shred material still that I need to go through and turn in. Uh, we are taking vintage Santa. I was about to sell it and my girlfriend said, keep it. And so I'm going to, and if we decide we don't want it, we'll just sell it later. Uh, but definitely um, it's worth some money, but we decided to keep it anyway. All these shelves have to go and all of this stuff back here right now it's a huge mess but i'm starting to get a lot of empty containers which is good because i have to clear this stuff out so all of this has to vanish so for the future of this channel i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with it yet i've really got to figure that out once i settle in over the next couple of months my focus is on my job and also on moving so with that I may get back into dumpster diving. Like I said, I'm in a very rural area, so I would have to travel quite a bit to find dumpsters in small towns. And like I said, the largest one is over 20 minutes away. And I don't even know what the, sh what the uh, shred and scrap costs are at the new location. And it, maybe the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I'd have to find all that out. I might even get into possibly e-waste or scrap pickups. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to have a hobby once we settle in because, uh, yeah, I just want to keep busy and it's nice to do something like this because you do make money at it. It's interesting. You pick up a lot of free stuff and uh, I just really enjoy it. So I really don't know, but, you know, let the unsubscriptions begin. And for those that stick around, uh, I can't promise you when the next video is going to be. It's probably going to be a few months, but uh, I just got to get my feet on the ground and probably then relax for a while after that. And somewhere in here, maybe I'll show you the view that we're going to be moving to and we're both excited about it so this is a good thing for us and uh, I know you know some people really liked watching the videos and I appreciate that I appreciate all the positive comments all the constructive criticism and just you know the comments in general as well as all the support so thank you very much for supporting the channel um, getting to even almost 13,000 subscribers for the content that I did put out there I thought was pretty good and it was definitely growing quite a bit every time that I really got into it and was able to zero in on putting together the content but uh, it's fallen off here a couple of times over the past year and a half and I apologize about that but life happens and I need to uh, focus on other things so thanks again for watching I really appreciate it
So since I haven't posted the last video yet, I figured I'd give you an update on the status. And as you can see, everything is cleared out here. This entire area has been cleared out. All the wood racks and the wood box is gone. Got boxes here ready to start packing stuff up in the shop. I've got all the wood that I'm gonna leave for the new owners in the wood rack there. And all of this stuff here, actually, this was all cleared out, but I've moved all my scrap. So this is pretty much the end of it. This is mostly non-ferrous, including breakage, and I do have some shred in there as well. But a lot of brass, copper, a lot of different types of wire. Uh, the circuit boards are actually coming with me. I'm going to mail them from the new location to where those need to go. And uh, yeah, um, aluminum siding as well as just a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to turn in for my last hurrah basically from this location anyway. Here is the skeleton for the most part of the scrap area. This is where all my bins were and the table. So I slapped this part here together a couple of years ago and for being basically just uh, winging it. It has held up really well for the past couple of years and I never had any issues with it. I think I might be taking the metal with me as well as the good wood once I tear this whole thing down. All of this wood will be coming with me as well as a lot of this stuff here. Uh, most of this actually is empty containers and some other things I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. This stuff is all getting burned. I'm gonna take this one rack and then all of this is batteries that I'm going to take in in the next uh, week or two. All empty containers, all empty buckets, along with a few other things that I need to deal with. And then these are actually full of circuit boards that, again, I think I'm just going to throw those on the truck as they are and just ship them from the new location because it's actually going to be a bit closer to where I need to ship those anyway. So I'll probably save on shipping. And then uh, all this stuff I'm going to take with me as well as all this wood up here but the entire structure is coming down. So that is, for the most part, the status. I've got a lot of work to do inside my shop area. That is a disaster. And I did take up all the floor mats. I'm taking all the rubber floor mats with me, minus these two. Uh, those need to stay there because of uh, what's underneath there. But that is it all in all. I did manage to clear out the whole section over here. The shed is mostly all cleared out. And then the cat house is coming with us. And then we got a bunch of stuff in the driveway ready to load on the truck when that comes in a couple of days. But we're still two to three weeks away from the final push to actually live at the new location. So that's just a quick update. So you can see what's happened over the past couple of weeks. And thanks for hanging in there. And one last update, since it's been a couple of weeks from the last video, and I will be putting this video out tomorrow for sure. So I figured I'd show you what the place looks like and kind of up on the side of the mountain. Uh, our elevation's not really high, uh, but definitely higher than where I'm moving from. So very steep driveway, which is gonna be interesting when it sleets or snows, but no big deal got a storage unit there. I've got a riding mower that was left for me and I've also got an ATV in there so that's going to be nice. Uh, all of this is mine and it goes back quite a few acres. Uh, it's all pretty steep so you got to hike it if you do decide to go back there. Uh, back patio which is really nice and the cat house I got to put a back on that finally since I think that's where we're going to put it. Oh and back here is where a lot of my stuff is. So a lot of it's in the garage as well as inside there. And then I've got a lot of wood, uh, metal, sheet metal, and just a bunch of other stuff. All this roofing that I had, and then a lot of wood under there. And I've probably still got, I don't even know how much, but a lot more to bring over in the last load. So that is yet to happen. But this is the place, and we're super excited to be here. Got really lucky, I think, with this house. We are really happy about the move and excited to settle in. We've got one more truckload yet before we put the other house on the market. And then this is going to be it for who knows how long. But uh, yeah, got the mountains over there. Uh, a lot of fog comes through here in the mornings and in the evenings. And just beautiful place to be. A lot more serene than when we're moving from and right up our alley of where we wanted to be for the long term. So unless something else 
comes up that we can't turn down, this is gonna be it, I think, for quite a while. So, as I said in the first video of this long video post, I, uh, I'm not sure where this channel's going, but I just wanted to show you what was going on so that uh, I didn't leave you hanging. I apologize that I left you hanging for a couple of months. I've just been really, really busy, but finally wanted to give you an update. And that's it. So that's where I'm at right now. And hopefully I'll be putting something out in the next uh, couple of months when I finally get my feet on the ground. We'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.